the next team on the stage, Jackie Matrix. Can you please give him a big round of applause? He's just the only person that stayed from the team behind. Hello everyone, thank you all for being here. I'm very pleased to be here today to present to you our results in this challenge. First of all, I'd like to thank my team who are front of me cannot stay here today. I'd like also to thank uh, Intel and ICOM for organizing this great challenge, as well as the mentors and juries who had great advice during those days. Being a leader in AI is a really complex topic. You have to play along a leadership funnel. First, being known as a leader in AI, being recognized by AI experts, and at the end, being used by them. This global vision has to be envisioned by many different strategic initiatives, from having the best products to recruit the top AI talents. But among them, marketing should be supporting everything and all of these initiatives. But how exactly can you do that? The idea to have a leadership in AI is use marketing to create emotional content that will be leveraged by coordinated marketing tactics. But this may be a little vague and general, I can confess. So let's look and illustrate that by an example. Two weeks ago, NVIDIA, which is a direct competitor of Intel in the race for AI chips, has released a technology in which they broke the barriers between science fiction and reality. They released a technology where you could drive an autonomous car remotely through a virtual reality control system. What is amazing and what, where is the marketing genius here is that they released this system just a few weeks after the Black Panther movie came out, where this technology is featured and presented as science fiction. Here, they announced it in a specialized event, but even with it, they um, address this problem by speaking to anyone, researchers and businesses, as well as wider audience. This is really the point that we're focusing here on emotional content. But how can we exactly address that? How can we detect those moments in those trends? And how can we use efficient marketing to promote those trends? This is the subject that we exactly addressed during this challenge. Then we had the chance and the opportunity to exactly try that by creating two analytical approaches. At first, we created an algorithm that predicted the volumes of conversations online on a given topic. This allowed us to understand what really drives engagement, virality as well as user sentiment. On the other side, we're creating marketing mix models for 14 leading tech brands in AI, including Intel, to better understand the drivers and the media levers that you could use and the optimal strategies to articulate the marketing plan between them. But let's dive a little further in those analysis. User engagement online is subject to an overall trend, as well as exceptional and unpredictable events. This can be addressed by data, by using models to accurately forecast it. If you want to find another upcoming trend, maybe your business expertise and intuition can show you what would be good and for the company, what could be used for the company as a good marketing content. But this is also a place where data can be put into use. By using data to confirm your intuition by measurement and enrich it with further knowledge like what users are really feeling about it. When you know this, at the end you still have to do some real marketing actions to activate those trends and to promote them efficiently. What we discovered using mixed marketing modeling approaches is how media differentiates and how the impacts is different at each step in the leadership funnel. At first, we discovered that press, radio, B2B conferences and partnerships really drive awareness. And that's the main step, the first step to go on the first, on the journey to be known and for Intel to be known. Over time, 
This creates a community of active users online that will promote the brands with user engagement that can be pushed forward through online media. This trajectory that we see seems to maximize efficiency. But let's take a step back and take a look at those trajectories in the market. This is actually a mapping of the leading companies in AI, where you can see media investments projected against the popularity in the AI space. What's really interesting here is that you can see those trajectories. The more you spend, the more you're popular for most of them. Intel, among them, has a very good positioning with a good trajectory in the recent years and an overall popularity that is about the same in the AI space than Facebook and Amazon. But what really stands out here is again NVIDIA that we've seen in the beginning. That is showing us an extremely maximized efficiency of marketing. By spending a hundred times less in marketing, they can have the same level of popularity that any of those brands. So what Intel could do to achieve and to bring to that level and to continue and pursue this trajectory of efficiency in marketing. A complete and robust data roadmap could be put into use to unlock the value of Intel. Intel has an extreme expertise in computer science and processing chips. Not a lot of people know about their new AI uh, strategies, but this expertise can be unlocked by using the right tactics, by creating some content that will be impactful and showing up the real expertise of Intel and AI. On a trend that will be popular as well as an expertise and confirmed by data. This can be deployed at the end by using the right and coordinated media tactics that can be, for example, shifting some TV budget to, at first, some more specialized media, like press, conferences, and B2B co-branding, like the one you just did with Teradata. This is a way to bring awareness to then drive engagement. At the end, all of this roadmap should be backed by statistical models that can help you make brighter decisions. And this can, at the end, help you know exactly where to put the investment, not by increasing the budget, but by placing where it counts, and knowing exactly what to play, when to play, at what intensity, and what synergies can you leverage to drive further leadership in the AI space. Thank you. Thank you very much.